Okay, I think I think we're live. Let's double check it before we rock and roll. All the bells and whistles, it's so stressful. Okay, we're live. Awesome. She makes it look easy. Let me turn that off. Okay, we're live. Awesome. It makes it look easy. Okay. You know, when you shut off Facebook and you're like, am I shutting off the right thing? <laughs> am I going to like, am I going to delete everyone out? Uh, what an awesome group on this morning, guys. Welcome. Welcome. I'm super pumped to be sharing today. Um, I think I know most of you on here, but Kim Theander Heiden from Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been in this industry for 13 years. Love everything about it. Love that it allows us to create and design what we choose. Dr. Carol, right? What we choose, wherever she is, she's she's got us uh, she's got us shifting some language around, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But um, you know, I know I know we, know we always love to kind of kick off our weeks and kick off our Monday. I love. I know we sometimes start with wins, but I'm going to shift a little bit. I'd love to hear what your intentions are for the week. What are your intentions? Like, you're going to work out every day this week. You're going to do your morning routine every week? Are you gonna maybe carve out some time for whatever? Are you gonna be really intentional with the number of reach outs you're gonna do this week? With follow-ups, you're gonna go live every day in your stories this week? Like, I would love to hear what your intentions that you're setting for, for yourself for the week. Oh, I probably should put myself in speaker mode for those of you that are catching the replay. It might be a little bit more, uh, might be a little bit better to see. Okay, so, how the um, topic of this started for today, and we're going to get into all that's available to you for this week and really the rest of this month, but uh, Tracy and I were chatting and she goes, she goes, Kim, you really don't hear the no's, do you? I'm like, I don't, I don't hear them. I don't hear them at all. <laughs> so I get lots of no, you guys, um, but I just, it doesn't, it, do, it doesn't get my power and I'm not tied to the outcome. I, so I guess those are some two first Monday morning lessons for you is, you know, we're going to, I'm going to give you some tips and strategies about how to not be tied to the outcome and about being mindful of who and what gets your power. So um, I love seeing all these intentions for your business. I'm read, I'm going to read them as I go, but I'm going to just dive into today. Okay. So I'm going to get into some just logistics of what's happening. I guess I would call it housekeeping, but what I really want you to know, I really want to lean into and help you guys Build that strength and posture around showing up, showing up and being seen, showing up in the biggest way that you want to show up in, um, creating what you want to create. And for me, I believe it's all really about pipeline and consistency and follow-up and then mindset, belief and self. To me are the two th things, we can get those things cranking together. And I believe that you're going to be able to really create, create whatever you decide to create with this opportunity. So logistically, what's happening over the next couple of weeks is the company, and I love, and just, I'm so grateful for this company that they gave us this runway to prepare and to leverage. On the 21st of this month, we have, um, with, with, they're doubling our give get uh, coupons or codes, right? So normally we have a $10 code to give to new customers and our customers have $10 codes. They're upping that to 20 and 20. So we are going to be able to go out and get new customers and offer $20 off a hundred dollar or more purchase. And our customers can do the same. There's also going to be a referral. Um, what is it called? It is called a giveaway, a, a $500 giveaway. There's going to be five of them where they're going to pick five names of customers who are going to get a $500 giveaway. And then the rep who has that person. So there's just a lot of there's a lot of benefit and reason to be upping our games in terms of reaching out to people. So that's sort of just the logistics of what's happening. So the way I look at going into this Friday, and I'm going to focus on two areas, is how can we leverage a program like this, right? And who doesn't love a deal? Put deal in the chat if you love to get a bargain, a deal, if you, you know, whatever. Like, I love my, this is my birthday month, and a lot of companies are sending me coupons for, like, stuff that I would normally buy. And it feels really good to get a deal. <laughs> so the way in which I'm approaching the next couple of weeks is that I'm going to be super focused on new customers. And I'm going to be super focused on <clears throat> having my uh, raving fan customers share their codes. And I shouldn't even say, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even say raving fan customers. I'm going to be asking pretty much 
anyone that's you know ever experienced Modere products to see who do they know and would they be open to, right? And we have a really great, and I'll, and I'll point to a, a great training around that. But what I really wanna focus on around those two activities, and I'm gonna give you really specific go-to's for this week to keep you in some really great action, right? Everyone loves the deal, you guys. We have a lot to talk about this week for a deal, is that I really want you to embrace the follow-up. Um, um, leaders are repeaters, as we know. So I am gonna share with you some statistics that I shared on Thursday, but I wanna get this so ingrained in, <laughs> in your fibers, in your Modere fibers that, we really just start to um, embrace the follow-up and not be tied to any outcome. So it's not like when I give you some strategies about how to follow up, it's not like, well, I can, I did that, Kim, and I didn't hear back. And I'm like, yes, yeah, so what? It was just a touch, right? All of these things I'm gonna give you are just a touch. And why am I so passionate about these touches? So this was coming from Justin's um, total recruiting blueprint. And he gave these industry statistics on sales cycles and buyer behavior. Most people, when they do the first reach out to see if someone's open and interested in looking at their product, service, or opportunity, 45% won't even do a first follow-up. They don't even do a first follow-up, right? So they, they, they make the offer, they make the introduction, they don't follow up. 68% of people do not go beyond the fourth touch. I want you to really hear that. There's about 40 of us on this call, 68%. If I was gonna do really fast math, let's just take four, 12. That's 12, that's 28 of you are not gonna go past the fourth touch. 12 of you will, and guess where all the sales are happening? 80% of sales of yeses are happening on the fifth to 12 touch. So congrats to the 12 of you <laughs> that are, not tied to the outcome, that are not hearing the no's, that are getting consistent with your follow-ups because you're going to close 80% of the sales. So how empowering is that, you guys? If you know that most people are not going to say yes till the fifth to 12th touch, doesn't that make it okay when you don't hear back? Doesn't that make it okay when people say no, not now? It's just like, okay, so what? Just timing's off. That's my third touch. I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> with my fourth touch and my fifth touch and my, and I shared some stories with you just from the last week in my own personal business, right? Where I had followed up with someone after eight messages, eight messages that I had sent with her never responding. And I sent a message that was my typical, I call it a two-day follow-up. It's just like any time follow-up when someone doesn't respond to you of, Hey, you know, I, her name is Michelle. Hey, Michelle, I noticed, um, I'm, I'm thinking that your life is really full right now as, as is mine. And I'm thinking that this message probably got buried. I just want to make sure that you saw it. I see there's a few messages that maybe you didn't see. She got back to me at me immediately, talked to me about how, you know, how life had happened and she ended up placing an order that day. So am I tied to the outcome? Not at all. Not at all. Because people are just busy. So let me get into a little bit about um, some follow-up strategies. So if we talk about... All right, let me back up now and let's get into sort of this week and talk about if we're going to be focused on new customers and getting people to share, you know, asking people if they want to share their codes and re doing referral posts. And I, I say referral posts, but I want to peel that back. I think there's a lot of opportunity. You'll hear me use the analogy of the buffet table a lot. The buffet table to me is just giving people options. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of options of how you can go out and, and have those conversations for new customers. and have those conversations of offering up some options to your existing customer base to possibly share, you know, get people sharing their codes, right? And why we, and, and the other thing is too, is what I think is so brilliant about the company to do this is that how cool would it be you guys to infuse a lot of new people into your customer pods over the next couple of weeks so that they are, we create a really good experience for those customers. And then boom, we get into black November with, you know, if you have 10 customers right now, what if you could get to 15 or 18 going into November, right? It's just a bigger pool of people that are going to want to grab these deals. And we continue to create really raving fan customers. And now we've got a strong foundation going into December of people that are loving our products. Okay, so let's talk about new customers. Here's some activities that I want. I'm going to, I'm going to throw some activities at you. And then we're going to get into some follow-up strategy because you guys are in a lot of... Um, 
where you guys are, yeah, Lisa, if you could just mute, there's a bunch of people that aren't muted. So like Susan, Elizabeth, Janelle, we can just get some of these because I know there's a little bit of background. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up. Uh, yeah, 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 you guys you're, could you're just close. mute yourselves. I know, I know everyone's multitasking to a degree, although this yeah. is good stuff. I'm taking notes. <laughs> awesome. Really? Okay, I'm so let's get notes. in a new customer. So how can we go out and, and attract in new customers? One, I would really encourage you uh, with a couple of different activities. This entire, like when I talk about this entire week, it starts on the 21st of when we can actually use these double, double discount codes. I would just say, you know, if you guys, let's just strengthen this muscle for the rest of this month going into November and just have this be part of our new, our new norm, right? We try to teach you guys how to do this business in 30 to 60 minutes a day. <clears throat> when you, it, this might take a little bit longer as you start, if you lean into the shout app or when you lean into the shout app, you'll be able to get your content up a lot faster, but I would encourage you to get a story up every day, product story post up every day. Get some sort of engagement on your wall, a post on your wall, whether it's a en fun engagement post, whether it's a lifestyle post, whether it's um, you're adding, you know, some form of education or value to your community or fun, but like get seen. My, my goal is for all of us is to be really um, upping our, uh, upping our views, right? Because I'm going to tie this all in a nice bow at the end, but the goal is, is that we want to get all eyes on us. And so I want to be, be I want to encourage you to do this in a lot of different ways. One little tweak in terms of, and then in, for, in terms of new customers, anyone that you've ever had any kind of conversation with around Modair. So I'm going to give you some strategies now on the follow-up for new customers. Let's start with people that you've already been in conversation with in any, you know, any way, shape, and, and form. All right, so I'm going to just rapid fire a few things off the top of my head, right? Hopefully you have a list somewhere. Could be, you know, all right, so let's talk about your initial, um, I'm going to back up, sorry. I'm going to back up a little bit. We, Lisa, myself, and Lisa and, and, and I did a live call on last week on relaunching your business. You guys, there was a lot of nuggets in there that you could, you could take and, and put in your business, even if you've been, you know, even if you've already, you know, your business is already moving along quite nicely. I would encourage everyone this week to do some sort of three-step process where you're doing some sort of post to like, you know, you could change your profile pic or you could do an engagement post, but something that's going to get your views up. And then the next day I would do another, like, depending on how active you are, your wall has been, if you might need three days to warm it up, take the three days because that would take us to Wednesday. But today you're going to change your profile pic or get an engagement post up or a high post. I know a lot of us that have been around the block, we do the high post every once in a while and that just blows up, right? And you want to make sure you're commenting and doing all the things. Tomorrow engagement, Thursday, I would do some form of product update post. Because Wednesday is an awesome day. Think of that. We do that Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not not tied to the day, but like sometime this week, do some form of product engagement post. Trim seems to get the most visibility and the most hands raised, but I know that a lot of people have done bio self posts and had some huge responses. Um, I know some people are doing skincare and getting some hands raised. The reason why I recommend trim, I just think it gets the most hands raised. And at the end of the day, we just want them to raise their hand and show some interest though that so then we can then ask the question, what are your health goals? How can I help you? And guess what? This is perfect timing because I see you haven't ordered with me before and I've got a $20 off code. How can I support you? Right. Then you can kind of get into that language. But I would definitely get some sort of product update up on your wall this week. Um, and then be in your stories um, on a regular basis. Okay. So um I know I just went off on a little bit of a <laughs> a little bit of a detour. Okay. So so new customers. So you might have a list from people that, you know, depending on when you joined, you might still be working off of a fresh list of names that are in there that are, have raised their hand that you're in conversation with. Maybe you've got some names coming from your stories. Maybe you've just been in conversations with people. When we're doing our follow-ups, you guys, whether, whether we're in a I'll call this promo mode, whether we're in a promo mode or just in every day, this is just a concept I want you to just really embrace. Whenever you're following up with someone, have a piece of information to share. Always have an update in your follow-up. You'll never feel, insert the word, you'll never feel pushy and salesy and cringy or whatever the feeling might be 
when you follow up with an update. So my updates usually will sound something like, hey, Lisa, I was thinking about you. Oh my God, I see that you're like, you had the best weekend up with your daughter. So cool. And listen, I wanted to give you a quick update. I know you were thinking about adding some collagen into your routine. I can hook you up on Friday with $20 off. We've got this double discount going on. So if timing is right, let me know if you need a little bit more education or if you're ready to get started, I can hook you up on Friday. And no worries either way. Right, so there was my update. My update all week for anyone that's ever raised their hand on any product, whether it's Bacuchiol Booster or whether it's Trim or whether it's Trebiotic or whether it's you fill in the blank, they're gonna get that message that we have, um, that I can hook them up with a double discount. Maybe it's a piece of education. You know, we were on a previous call um, a little bit ago and you know, a lot of us were just raving about Carol's product education uh, talks with digestive enzymes and liver health and car blocker and all the things. Maybe you can, maybe they've had these products before. Maybe you're gonna follow up with an update on education to say, hey, I know you've, you know, I know you might, you know, one point we're looking into fill in the blank. Any, and you can grab any education from real results um, and, and follow up. My point is whenever you're doing a follow-up, what value can you add to that person and what update can you add? So it's not just like a, hey, following up, seeing if you got my message. Like nobody wants to be kind of checked in on, but people like to feel that you are um, focused on what's in it for them and what the benefit is for them. Okay, so I think if you just kind of have that in your mind, adding value, adding value, adding value, right, for the person. Okay, so that's a little bit about the follow-ups and the DMs. Now you can do this, again, we've had so many trainings, but again, let me just rapid fire some stuff off, of, off, off to you. You could go into your Facebook Messenger and search collagen. You could search BioCell, you could search Trim, you could search Bakuchiol, you could search cell proof, you could search Trebiotic, whatever product like that you think you might've talked to someone about, that'll bring up any conversation in the feed that you may have had because they're, they're, Lisa, Lisa and I do this all the time and we're shocked about how many people that were like, oh my God, I can't believe I forgot about this one or that one, you know? So you'll see some names pop up that you, met, you, that you might've just haven't followed up with in a while, right? They deserve to know that they can get $20 off on Friday. Okay, so that would be one thing. Um, reactivate any of your posts that have done well, right? So maybe you get back into your, your spoon, your first spoon post. What mine was almost two years ago. I'm going to get back in there. I'm going to wake it up. I did a, a, a post on hair. You know, does anyone deal with um, thinning hair? I've got something that one did really well for me. I'm going to wake that up. So waking up a spoon, waking up a product post is simply going into that post. You can delete a comment and recomment on it, or you could, um, just write a comment down below, like super excited to share with you guys. I can get you $20 off this week. Or, you know, you could put like a little teaser in there. Um, I'm going to take questions at the end, Lauren, because I'm going to rapid fire a few more things at you. And I'm, I'm kind of like, if I, if I get off, I'll, I'll feel like, where am I? <laughs> where am I again? So there's, there's a lot of ways in which we can kind of figure out the new customer piece, but you know, that would be the strategy for new customers. All right, look, customers and, and friends, let's say customers and friends sharing codes, because you can have someone sharing codes, you guys, that has maybe never purchased before. Maybe they've used the, the maybe that they have had a struggle with overcoming how to afford it. So you could say to them, I have an awesome way that I can help you earn some really great shopping credits. I can, I can get you hooked up with a free account. Would you be open to and then insert, so in boards, um, under the um, promo, um, if someone wants to put the link in, if you haven't seen it yet, we had an incredible training uh, the end of last week. Um, I didn't write the woman's names down, so I know you guys all have it in there. I know it was Andrea and another amazing Ashton. leader. Ashton. Ashton, okay. Ashton. It's they in the boards. Us, it's actually in the boards, Kim. Right. They, can, they can grab it. Yeah. It's right in the boards. But I think it's under yep. promo, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So she has some great language, you guys. That's literally step one, step two, step three. So here's my other to do for this week, right? So we're going to get a story up. We're going to get active in our wall. I would definitely do the, the three step process to get some sort so you can gear up to get a product post in. But then you want to be seen throughout the rest of the two weeks with just positive content and value. For the, for the um, getting, you know, asking our customers and our friends to share codes, I would challenge you all to do 10 a day. 
I know it might sound like a lot, but I'm going to challenge you. Who's up for the challenge? Put it in the boards. Challenge accepted. They accepted in the thing. You guys, if you, if you take that language from step one, you can get 10 messages out in probably five minutes if you don't overthink it. Right. And these, and again, if you have a smaller customer base, three to five would be amazing as well. You could ask three to five people a day. Now you could also ask people that aren't customers yet and say, if I hooked you up with a free account, would you be open to helping me get the word out on these amazing products? And in return, I can help you get up. You know, my goal is to help you get at least $60 in shopping credits. So you can do some free shopping. How does that sound? Would you be open to that? Now for me, I like to give people options. I know that the main thing that we want to do is to get them to do a, a Facebook referral post or on Instagram referral post. I think, I think Facebook probably, I don't know, my opinion works a little bit better. <clears throat> I know that Ashton also made a brilliant recommendation then to also um, get it into stories, right? Because some people are going to see stories, some people are going to see walls. So after they, so again, it's all in board. Step one is, to, is the ask. They say yes, boom, step two. Um, and that's saying, you know, here's the language and here's the, the post, right? And then they get up after they post and they tag you in it, then the step three would be like, how about next we get it in the stories? Because some people are going to see stories. Some people are going to see your, um, your wall. I like to give people a third option. I don't know if it's because of my age, but, but when I share things with girlfriends, a lot of times I'm in text. Like I have, I'm a natural share. If I find something I like, I am going to share it with my friends. So I give people a text option as well. Like if I sent you some language, like would you be open to getting this out to five of your girlfriends that are gonna also want, you know, experience with great anti-aging benefits and joint benefits? And a lot of times I get a lot of times I get a yes there versus people posting on their wall. Of course, we want to get the yeses on the wall, but I like to give people an option. I wanna um I like to give people an option too because I'm typically gonna get a yes on something, right? If I just give them one option of will you post on your wall. What if they say no? And it's like, I want to say, will you, will you do this or that? Because most people will choose one, one or both. Okay, so that would be um, some things in terms of your existing people, right? Is to just, again, get really, I loved Ashton's um, language. I wrote down is I'm a master at helping my customers get free product credits. And my goal is to help um, all my customers get $60 in credits for November. You know, can I show you how? And it's all right in the boards, cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. Pers I like to personalize the first line. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it up at the end, but I'm gonna have Carol Watson come off um, and just share a couple thoughts with you because a lot of times we'll talk about, all right, one more other thing too on the, what I wanna, what I wanna tweak and give you this, this other last strategy before we wrap it up. I've been, um, I've been talking with a lot of um, people about prospecting in the stories, right? And get prospect, let, let's, let's do it, phrase it a little differently about getting into more conversations in the stories. And I know a lot of us have been sort of likes or leads. We know that that's a no brainer, right? That's that, I call that a layup, right? If somebody likes it or hearts it, you know that they've seen it and acknowledge that they've seen it. Of course, they're going to get it some sort of a message saying, thank you so much for liking my post. Not sure if you were just supporting me or if I can actually share some information with you, but it's all on the boards, the language, right? Just grab it in the boards. <laughs> but what I'm hearing a lot of people are doing and having some really good success with is if somebody views the story to get into that DM and say, hey, I don't know if my story just kind of passed by by chance or if it, or if you are, you know, might be interested in some education, I'd love to share with you. It's really made an impact in fill in the blank. <clears throat> now I was doing that if I did a three- if I did like a three or four part story flow, if they got to the four slot, I was like, yeah, they saw my story. Let me get in there. And I've heard a lot of people say, no, 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 no. If they saw the first slide, get in that DM. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's, I'm playing around with that. And I've heard a lot of people having success with getting in more conversations. So that's something too, that if you're feeling like you want more people to get engaged with, try that out. Like if you, then that's why I would encourage you to do the product story every day, because that's going to give you a lot of eyes on you to just simply say, Hey, I don't know if my story just passed through your feed by chance, or if you really, you know, if it caught your attention, you want, might want some more information, but I'd, be, I'd love to share. And Oh, by the way, I can get you $20 off your purchase this Friday. So it's a fun time to take a look. And if not, no worries. 
right? So, um, so Carol, share with us because Carol is the, I, I call her the master. She is the absolute master of getting eyes on her. She shows up in her stories in such a fun, positive way. She's up on her wall. She's in the DMs. She's, she's doing the thing. She's got her eyes on her. And so some people might be like, well, of course, Carol has a big customer base, or of course she crushes this or not, or that. And Carol over the weekend, you know, she messaged me. I love how she's like, you're my accountability person. I want to share with you what I'm going after. But I was so impressed with Carol because, you know, how I said I'd tie this up in a bow. Why I want you all to embrace these follow-ups so much and get into the DMs, get into the DMs and just update, add value, be in your stories, be on your wall, be over here, be over there. It's because people are watching us and we just never quite know when one timing is going to be right Two, when we hit their hot button, we all have hot buttons, right? So I could be talking about why I love collagen over here, but it could be that it's the hair piece that gets you. And I don't really talk about that as much as I talk about my, my knees with running, right? So, um, so Carol, share with us a little bit. And I know this is specific on this promo, but like I, this, what you shared with me over the weekend can be used at any time of the month because we always have something to talk about at Modea with our with our promos and our and our um things. So take it away. Sure. Thank you. First of all, two things. Y'all, tomorrow is Kim's birthday. Oh. I just want us all to say happy birthday to Kim. Thank you so much for all the value you bring to our team. We celebrate you and, and your life. So thank you. Um, the second thing is when it comes to the DMing in the story, so if somebody hearts on your story, I just wanted to wish one, one other little suggestion is when you see them heart or seeing your story to get into conversation, what I do is thank you so much for the heart or I see that you saw my story. I'm curious, are you finding what I'm putting up here of value? And if so, what would you like to see more of? So that opens up a conversation then for what's important to them. And it helps us know as marketers what our audience wants. And we want to be marketing to them, right? So that was just a thought there. So with this um, VIP promo, so I'm really being very, very, uh, I'm working much more diligently with my language, my words. So instead of saying I want, I'm saying I choose. So for this promo, I initially was saying, well, you know, I think I want to get about, you know, 12 to 15 VIPs taking advantage of this promo. And then I sat with that for a little bit and I thought about, it, I was like, you know, how can I make this a uh, stronger posture? So what I came up with is I choose to help 12 open women grab this promo by pressing the easy button. So number one, I'm choosing, that's my intention and they're open, I'm attracting open women, and I wanna help them press the easy button. So I wanna make it as easy as possible because in the past, my posture was, oh no, they've already bought something. I don't wanna be bothering them again. What if nobody wants this? What are they gonna think? You know, It's too hard. I can't figure out how to tell them what to do and what button to press and blah, blah, blah. So no, mm, stop. <laughs> so I worked on changing my own posture. So long story short is I sent out my project broadcast blast because I am on project broadcast to all, I ran a report, found all the people that, that had run a subscription in the last 30 days, sent out my thing, right? Then I sent out an email also, which I don't think I ever told you, Kim. So I touched them with the text. I sent it out on email and with my project broadcast, and I've got a pretty good list of subscription customers, and I'm just going to be honest and tell y'all, I got four people who, who replied back with my keyword that they want to grab. I'm like, hmm, four. I'm choosing to help 12 people. How can I expand this, right? So I started going through my list, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to get into DMs and let use my voice and say, hey, you know, I know I sent out a text and an email. I also know how busy life gets, blah, 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 all the things. Here's, here's the thing of value. And by the way, I ran a report of all my customers who ordered on the, um, like the power duo. They like the trim and the bio cell. I started with them because those are the key people if they're already using both those products, right? So I was like, I know you already love these products. And with the holidays coming up, I know you're going to be traveling and you're going to want to have something to tuck into your purse or into your bag. This is a $35 value with free shipping and handling, your loyalty math, blah, blah, blah. And I did the math for each person. I looked up 
5%, 10%, or 15%, where are you at? And I gave them exactly what they would be saving. And I said, and I'll take care of it for you. All I need is your CVV code. Just say you're in, go, but easy. I think that was the word I used. Just reply back easy. I got 14 people. That, I mean, by getting into DMs with my voice, showing them the value for them, making it personalized to them. I got goosebumps just saying that, by the way. Um, it's like people need to hear your voice, your belief. Here's what's in it for you. Let me make it easy for you. I can take care of this for you. Let me help you grab this value because I'm a master at helping my customers <laughs> save money. <laughs> so that was, that was what I did. So now with the new one, the coming up, my choice, I'm choosing to help at least 10 new customers gain the value of with this give 20, get 20, right? And then I'm also going, to, I'm choosing five people to help share the love. So I haven't quite figured out my exact sentence I'm putting around that, but I'm choosing. It's not, I want it because want is so weak. Want is a desire. A choice is a decision and a commitment. So that's what worked for me. Oh, Love it. All right. So here's the thing, you guys, and I, and I, cause I, I, I know some of you that might be newer to this industry. You might be thinking, well, that just happened though. That was the other promo and we're working on this promo. Carol shared with you a concept. She shared with you a concept. She was, she, she had a touch here. Remember that five touches and beyond 80% of closes are happening. She touched here. She touched there. She was in her stories. She was then in the DMS, in the DMS, in the DMS with what, with what's in it for them what's the benefit, right? So I want you to get really seen with your communities out there. And then I want you in the DMs of what's in it for that person. Why do they need these products? What's the value and what's in it for them? They're going to get $20 off on top of some VIP benefits. So I'm going to leave you with four things. One is do not be tied to the outcome, right? This momentum. And if you decide to turn up the, turn up the heat, on your popcorn, you might get some more popcorn kernels popping, but if you keep that heat on, you're going to create momentum, right? We're not going to be tied to the outcome. Second is who and what am I giving my power to? Carol didn't give her power to, oh, there was only four people that responded. Oh, geez, where are these other eight going to come from? Whoa, it's me. No, she didn't give her power to that. She was like, okay, cool. Now I got to just do this, this, or the other thing, solutions mode, right? So be very careful about who and what you're giving your power to. What is the meaning I'm giving this activity? You guys, that's a huge one. What was the meaning Carol gave to all those reach outs? I'm choosing to connect with open women who are gonna be so happy to grab these products by pressing the easy button. So how do you think that that was received by the other people? They're like, well, this is simple. <laughs> Take my card, <laughs> right? Take my card. And then the last thing is what's the size of the problem that's gonna get you down, right? What's the size of the problem that's gonna get you down? I want you all to build the, the businesses of your desire. So we're not going to let small, we're not going to let small things get us down. It's just, that's, it's not going to happen. We're just going to just be like, okay, that's that, whatever solution mode and move on. So I know we went a little bit over today. I hope you found that valuable. Lauren, I think you had one question. So why don't you just come off mute and just shoot it over. Sure. So I was just asking when you get the yes or an interest to the promo or when do you do a cart? Yeah, that's a great question. Okay, so we're going to be in a lot of ag. We're going to ask ten people a day, right? So let's let two two things. It's, this is all on the boards, but I just want to direct you to the boards. If you're asking people to do a referral post, it's all step by step. When somebody says yes, what to do? So don't feel like, oh my god, someone said yes, what do I do? So you'll you'll get them in the sequence. But if you're talking to new customers and you say, oh, on Friday I can help you grab that, and they say yes, I'll be like, okay, perfect. What I'm going to do is Friday morning I'm going to shoot you over the cart, and I'm going to give you instructions on how to check out. And you and you know you will will hook you up on that. So I just set intentions that they're going to hear from me on Friday. And and I usually do circles. I'm a circle girl. How many new customers are you choosing to have during this uh, 10 day window? So Amy, I think you asked the question. How long is the promo? Starts on the 21st, goes to the end of the month. So there's so I'm much clock in the game. Here. We're like in the first quarter. Kim, I was just going to say too. You know, I, I'm I'm not really that big on circles, but I love lists. So I wanted to show people that like so. What I did is I created number one through number twelve, and this page was blank when I first started. Yeah. 
and I keep track of where I went. Did I, did I send them a link? Do they want me to place the order? And then I yeah. yellow them as I get them all in. So yeah, so, so, so circles, lines, I mean, it's that, you know, just, but I guess, again, choosing what you want, choosing your yes. intention, visually seeing it. It's so, you know, I'm not tied to the outcome. I'm not tied to like, but I'm going to, I'm going to stay in solutions mode to get my circles, my lines filled, but like, I'm not tied to that outcome. So I um, appreciate you all for being on today. Great group. Thank you, um, you know, for all that you guys do and super excited for an awesome week. And thank you for the birthday wishes. Such a great call, Kim. Thank you so much. Excited. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.